Hey guys, it's me and Pedram back. We are continuing on with the reviews of the Resident Evil movies. And now we just reached the one that's probably going to be the most decisive between the three, the two of us. Is Resident Evil 3 Extinction. And I'm going to admit this right off the bat. I think it's the best out of all of them. Is it Extinction? Yeah, it's Extinction. Because okay, Apocalypse. Apocalypse was the second one. Oh yeah, Apocalypse. I don't know. That's all a blur to me. So all bloody blur. So after watching the first two movies, we hated them so bad. Well, I hated them. I really. The first one is not aged well. The second one is just a complete disaster from pre-production, production, and post. This one is the most well-made technically. I'm not talking about effects. I mean actually like editing, cinematography terms of how the aesthetics work this is the most sound film and that's saying a lot considering this entire series is tripe here's here's the problem it's not a good movie it's not a good movie it's just that when you watch all these movies in a row you can start comparing them so the the better ones seem like they're okay but they're still they're still trash no no there's still a lot of issues with this one but in terms of the last two and the fact that I'm on a lot of codeine, <laughs> this one seemed not as bad as I remember it being. God, there's a lot of issues. There's the whole idea of how she just has super psychic powers. Mila Jonovic's acting is still terrible. A lot of acting is bad. Nowhere near as bad as the second one, at least. It was pretty. Yeah, it's nice. very well shot. Um, I'm a big the, fan of Mad Max. So oh yeah, that's the thing. This movie is basically like giving basically it's giving Mad Max a hand job the entire time. But there, <laughs> there obviously there's the the fucking barrel scene. Like we'll never be able to get past that. The un the container that just seems to have a million zombies in it. Look for the infinite zombie container in this movie. Yeah, because it'll blow your mind. It just they just keep coming. That that's something that we've hated all the time, but. Really, we focused our hate on that scene, and that is a terrible scene, but when you compare it to the rest of the, the movie... Birds, the birds look pretty the bad. The birds was bad, but that looked bad. It, the idea of it was cool. It doesn't work well because yeah. of the limited amount of budget for the CG. Yeah. And then... I think that was on the cover of the movie, too. Yeah, well, that was that, like the, well they the kept trailer showing, scene. Well, yeah, the one where she's looking up at the sky and it's burning. Fire, that was yeah. always the, the credits uh, part of the TV ads, I remember, mm -hmm. because that's a really cool shot. However, this is directed by the guy who directed Highlander, and honestly, yeah, it's the best one in terms of an action film. The action scenes are well shot, the, si the scenes are consistent, the lighting is good. It's not bad in a f terms of how it's put together. Is it watchable as much as the other ones are? That's the funny thing, is that this is the last of the original trilogy, mm -hmm. because literally I will say that Paul W.S. Anderson Star Wars himself. <laughs> they weren't planning, I think, to make another no, one after no, this No, no, Mila said that this was the last one, and I was like, you know what? Okay, that's not... I'm okay with that. Then they made the other ones. So he's basically got... He's making the prequels now, because they're fucking awful. Oh, yes. But... The but they're watchable. Yeah, they're rewatchable. Well, they're they're rewatchable because of how bad they are. This one, I don't know if you could rewatch it as much as the other ones because it's it's, just it's okay. good. It's okay. Yeah. That's it, right? I think that's yeah. the big, its biggest issue is that it's just okay, and it hasn't. It's aged better than the first one. Yeah, like the it doesn't have as good of a soundtrack. It's but the lighting, really. The light, it. yeah. The movie is just so well shot yeah. for, in terms of the other ones. Again, lots of coding, lots of comparisons. Comparisons, yeah. but. I still feel that Extinction is probably the best structured one, and I bet you it's going to be the one that's going to get the highest rating out of all of them from me. We have to take a look, actually. I'm very curious. Well, if anything, right now, like, what, what After we're done, we just got to... Well, kinda you kinda have to admit, right? Like, yeah. There are some good parts in this film. It's watchable. It's just you know, kind of like a, a popcorn average zombie movie. I mean, you could watch this, or you could watch, say... You know, Dawn of the Dead, for oh, yeah. example. Well, Dawn of the Dead is far superior. But the thing you also said is this one is completely off the chain when in terms of similarities to the games. Oh, yeah. The only thing that's thing. similar is the ending with Tyrant. That's yep. it. And some of the character names, like Claire. This is the yeah. first movie where Claire as a character shows mm -hmm. up Claire Redfield. Yeah. And she doesn't really... There's not even a... Uh, homage to like her her video game self. She's no. just kind of there as a it's character. It's just her name. Like that's yeah. the only thing that you could so. say that resembles her. Like she's not even wearing any of the things. Like her that... classic outfit or anything. It's yeah, just kinda, no. It's like, hey, video game fans, it's still a video game movie. Yeah, but... like she didn't even have a ponytail. 
Uh, I mean, when she was wearing the hat, I think. No, no. I don't think no, so. No, no, not even. Yeah, it was just yeah. kind of doing its thing. So, yeah. the character Wesker was this weird, was treading oh, on this yeah. strange line of, like, cheesy, but not cheesy enough. No, like, it's just... well, like, well, the thing is, he's like a fine Gouda, as you said. <laughs> where, like, the next guy, he gives you so much cheese that you'll die of lactose. Like, yeah, lactose. Yeah, overdose, yeah. yeah. So, so, I don't I still think this is the soundest one. It is the best made, it's the best shot, it's definitely the best directed. Yeah. Out it's, of all it, of them, it's the best directed. I don't think, aside from the, the infinite container of zombies and some of the CG moments not really seeming convincing enough, mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't like a horribly terrible moment in the film. No. It was just kind of, it well, was just there. There's also yeah. a funny joke. Under Executive Order 1345, issued by Chairman Wesker for insubordination and gross misconduct in the field, I sentence you to summary liquidation. Liquidation? Just die. That's a funny joke. That's not a, yeah. ah, ha, 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 that's so bad. It's a, oh my gosh, that was actually a funny joke. Like, I didn't expect that. I appreciated it. Paul, Paul W.S. Anderson's like, Oh, I wrote a good joke! <laughs> yeah! my, my main complaint with the film is that nothing happened. I think we, we spoke about this. Mm, okay, bit. yeah, that like, is... If you look at the overall plot of this film, Alice kind of bumps into these characters that she's met before, people die, and then... And she has this book saying, Oh, like, basically, hers is... You know, in terms of story structure, like, from you to get from point A to point... From point A to point C... There's a B in the middle. Yeah. That, that's all we saw. Like, the, the idea was them getting to Alaska. Yeah. But, you know, they literally just got in a helicopter. We don't even know if they got there, right? I think that's kind of the ambiguity yeah. of it. But really, in terms of what actually happens in this movie, nothing does. I think it was like a, a, a single arc of a three-arc film spread out to be a film on its own. Mm. Yeah. Like the Hobbit take, movies. Yeah, exactly. Just oh, like the Hobbit holy movies. Holy shit, yeah, that's right. So. so, yeah, in the end, Extinction is... All right. That's basically the. That's yeah. It's <laughs> it's all right in terms of how I feel the film is. I think it's definitely the best one out of all of them so far. Technically. Technically, I, I'll watch it over fucking two any day. I enjoy two. It's two so is, bad. Two is. I think this. that movie maybe gave me cancer. It's, one, it's like Nicolas that? Cage movies. You you watch the train burn and you watch it crash and it feels great the whole time. No so. man, I don't know. I'd rather. <laughs> Anyways, my was balls. <laughs> my rating. You can cut that. Oh, literally, <laughs> you can definitely cut that if you want. <laughs> you can't laugh, it hurts. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give Resident Evil Extinction a three out of seven. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! It's the third movie. Anyways. But the funniest thing I definitely will say is that the whole idea that the world ends, it, this movie is technically an anti-anti-global warming movie. Like, the idea that if humanity completely stops doing everything it does and all it does is just starts eating people, apparently the world will be devastated because of that. Instead of us ruining the earth, even if we do nothing, it ruins the earth? Yeah, it's like, know. apparently we have to keep on ruining the earth to save the earth. That's the that's the logic of that movie. Like, of this movie. Clearly, Paul W. S. Anderson knows nothing about climate change. No. Fool. Or making movies. Film making. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. But <laughs> hey, Monster Hunter is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it hurts to laugh. Anyway, guys, that's all from us. We you, we will be continuing on with the next two movies. So, no, that's gonna be fucking fun. All right, here we go. See you later. <laughs>